Alright boys and girls, welcome back. Uh, this is Dark Valentine 1984 coming right back at you. Um, I'm here tonight to let you in on how to increase the character select screen on your Mugen. If you just download a Mugen and you downloaded an ass load of characters, but you're wondering why your characters are all aren't showing on the screen or they're showing pretty much jumbled. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to help you out in adjusting the character boxes in order to make them appear on your character select screen a little bit better. Now, take note that this is a delicate process and you could end up messing up your screen not the way that you want to happen, but you could always go back and try again. So, first off, I've already pre-installed 25 characters, 26 if you include KFM, the default, who's the original, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on my screen so you can see exactly what you don't want. So let's start Mugen. Now remember, this is applying if you just got into Mugen. So we're going to go hit the arcade. Now as you see, my screen pretty much looks way off. Yeah. That character select screen does not look like, it's not supposed to look like this. All 26 characters are there, but you see the proportion of the actual tiles are off. This is what you don't want. A lot of people expect these same size tiles to fill up the entire screen with hundreds and hundreds of characters, in which sadly, it's not going to work like that. If you want those characters to appear in the boxes on the screen before you, then you have to adjust not only the character boxes that you see before you but you also have to adjust the actual size of the panels form that means you may end up getting smaller and smaller the more characters you want to put on but let's say for instance you got 26 characters and you want them all showing on the screen at the same time instead of you having to go off screen just to see them this is what we have to do now you have to pay close attention because you really really have to do this right so let's go ahead and exit out and we're gonna go to our data folder located in Mugen now remember you gotta pay attention to this now we're gonna go ahead and locate our system dot def file it is it's this folder I'm dragging around here it's this okay we're gonna go ahead and open our system dot def file now when you open it they're gonna give a little message saying definitions of system screens do not modify or overwrite this file the customized make a copy of this file in the subdirectory of your modem's name you're gonna go ahead and have to read your readme files but for those of you who don't like to read the readme files I suggest you still do that now don't be lazy don't be a lazy ass don't be a bum go ahead and read you're not gonna get anywhere by reading and even after you read my video you're still gonna have to do a lot of this stuff on your own so just take your little time out and read if you have to go ahead stop the video and just read it because a lot of this stuff doesn't come easy I'm at least taking my time out to make this tutorial for you guys so it wouldn't be so hard but even after I show you just a preview of how this is done you're still gonna have to learn this on your own that or get another screen pack of your choice if you still want to edit that screen pack you're still gonna to have to use this video as a reference well enough ranting let's go ahead with my uh, video shall we what we're looking for is called character select definition and you only could find it located in the system.def file which is located in the data folder of Mugen which is where we're at right now so we'll go ahead and we'll scroll down I'm going to scroll down until we see it because this is the only section that we want to change. Now remember, you're still going to have to adjust it to your liking and to the way you want it set so that you're able to see your characters. The only sacrifice that you may have, again, is the little actual pictures for the character select screen that you may have to adjust. It's a small price to pay to if you want more characters on the screen a lot of people may like seeing their characters faces on the character select screen in the little boxes but if you want more you gotta give up something and this is a big sacrifice but deal with it it's part of it anyway 
let's go ahead and we're going to go to the character select definition file well definition really now as you see I tried to put mine at 12 rows 10 columns seeing that that didn't exactly work out the way I wanted it to work so if you first go into it you're going to notice that instead of it being 12 and 10 it's going to be 2 and 5 okay we're gonna go with that and we're gonna see exactly just how it is now remember I have 26 characters if we just change this by itself and nothing else it's gonna look a bit iffy so let's go ahead and hit file and he would will hit save well I'm gonna do that but it's gonna be default for you so I'm gonna close it I'm gonna hit back and I'm gonna open it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about I'm just gonna hit 10 characters at least all 10 characters fit but where's the other 26 characters uh -huh, you see you're scratching your head as to why they didn't appear like they did the first time now my 26 characters are still added but it's only limited down to 10 Kung Fu Man starting and Junie ending that just cut out the other characters that I had so what we're gonna do so we're going to go back and we're going to go to the data folder once more. No, not open that up. We're going to open up the system.def file one more time. Okay, we're going to go back to it. Okay, now once we get to it, again, we're going to have to try and add more to it. Now, if you want to keep your rows set for rows at two you can if you want to but take note and take heed that if you want more characters to appear you can either keep adding on to the character columns which you'll also have to change rows as well so if you want let's let's see how can I get all 26 characters that I just had on the screen at one time at least visible to where they're not off screen well, you may be asking yourself if you have such su you know such an amount of characters well that's really not too hard what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the rows a little bit I'm gonna increase the rows to four I'm going to increase the number of columns to six alright now I'm gonna change the position which is the position to draw the empty boxes or the remaining boxes I'm gonna change it to three and I'm gonna go down and change the cell size again this is a key point here now the default is 27 but instead of 27 I'm gonna go 27x you know, 27 I'm gonna change it from 27x to 21x and change it from 27y to 21y now if I want to I can put spacing between each cell that's if I want to but I'm not going to change the space I'm gonna leave it as is I'm gonna hit file I'm gonna hit save and we're gonna go give it a checkout shall we now it should if my guess is right should be able to show all 26 characters so let's go ahead and give it a shot and it showed again it's still messing up my velocity but it showed more of my characters and now my characters are selectable but I don't want them going down I want the other characters to show itself so we're gonna go ahead and exit out now take note it's a columns and rows system so we're gonna go back to the character select definition and we're gonna go ahead and change it one more time now one thing that you have to remember all of this is considered trial and error if you want to do this right and do it on the original Mugen screen pack and not on a custom one like say for instance the broken Mugen screen you know screen pack which I really don't see that needs to be edited but if you just want to do it yourself it's gonna take trial and error you're not gonna get this right on the first time do not expect to get it the way you want to the first time you're gonna to have to do a lot 
and a lot of editing before you get this right so let's go ahead and we're going to go back to it now rows go down columns go across so we're going to leave we're going to put the rows at 3 this time and I'm going to put the columns at 11 so it's going to go 3 down 11 across we're going to leave the position and we're going to leave the cell size just the way it is and we're going to go ahead and save it I will exit out we'll go back to Wimugan and we'll display it one more time and this time it displayed it now as you can see all 26 of my characters are now visible on the screen but I still have two down there now if I just wanted to make it a little bit more fair we'll go we'll just have to go ahead and readjust it if you want your stuff to appear at the top but you want your characters to appear at the bottom then you'll only have to just adjust the cell size the rows and columns you're gonna have to keep adjusting them until you actually get it the way you want to so let's go back one more time and there's a reason why I'm going back and forth to show you this it's to show you that through trial and error you can get it the way you want but it's gonna take more try it's gonna take more error than trial to actually get this right so we're gonna go back to our system.def file one more time before I close this tutorial out we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna edit it to just make all my characters appear at least 25 or 26 characters at best okay we're gonna set the rows itself to 13 we're gonna set the cell size to 17 okay and just for fun we'll say let's add four rows just for fun we have 13 columns but let's just say we're gonna add four rows instead four down 13 across that's room to add more characters leaving the position and changing the cell size accordingly take a good look this is what you want to set if you want this many characters on your screen okay you're gonna have to add up 13 times 4 this is simple mathematics here if you add up 13 times 4 you think about it 4 and 3 is 12 you put down 2 character you know you know you know how to add I don't have to add it for you you can just do the math yourself you're just gonna have to add how many columns how many rows times how many columns you're gonna use and you are have to add up the cell size of how far you want it or the, how big you want them to appear the more you have the more you're gonna have to adjust this so now that I've adjusted it let's save and we'll go back out one more time and we'll run Winmugen and as you see all of my characters are there but the pictures are somewhat misaligned again trial and error but as you can see now all of my characters are now located on the screen I have 24 characters at least at best 24 maybe 25 but this is just showing you that through trial and error and by actually switching it the way that you would want to switch it or switch it to your taste it can be adjusted to how you want it done but it's gonna take a lot of trial and error It's gonna take a lot of it to get it right you've seen me do it myself you're looking at this video right now and it's showing you exactly how to do it based on trial and error now I'll put the uh, cell spacing to one instead of two and we'll just go back and save it once one more time just to make sure that the alignment has been done properly uh, not much change to it but you really do get the idea from this point on well that's it on how to set up the columns and rows and the cell positioning remember you're gonna have a lot of sacrifice in this as you're trying to get it done and it's not going to be an easy thing so um, this is Dark Valentine 1984 signing out but before I sign out I'd like to make one point clear 
if you want this done the right way you're gonna have to seriously get down and do the math do the editing yourself because you can't be lazy and expect someone else to do it for you like me I'm not gonna send you the select.dev file I just edit it you're gonna have to follow this video and you're gonna have to do it yourself the video is showing you the video is explaining to you and there should be no actual further questions as to why it's not working if it's not working for you then it is something on your end and I am not held responsible for that I'm just showing you how it's done through notepad I may show you how to do it through Windows Mugen configurator well Mugen Windows configurator but that may be a little bit too easy or some people may not really trust the program but all in all if you do it through notepad with a little trial and error you'll be able to get it the way you want well again until next time this is Dark Valentine 1984 signing out <laughs>